So Joe Biden at the business roundtable um, said something here, which isn't getting nearly as many headlines as it should, in my opinion, but he talks about what sounds like are imminent incoming Russian cyber attacks. Take a look. But uh, look, today my administration is for new warnings that based on evolving intelligence, Russia may be planning a cyber attack against us. And as I said, the magnitude of Russia's cyber capacity is fairly consequential. And it's coming. The federal government is doing its part to get ready. But under U.S. law, as you all remember, the private sector, all of you, largely decides the protections that is, you will or will not take. So this is something, I've talked about this in a number of my breaking news segments on um, the war in Ukraine, that with all these actions that the U.S. is taking against Russia now, basically unleashing every sanction under the sun, most of the swift banking sanctions, uh, now going after the oil and gas, just imploding the economy, every U.S. corporation pulling out, whether it's McDonald's or whoever, Visa and MasterCard, you know, not being there anymore. You have, hell was unleashed on the Russian economy now. My issue with that, as you guys know, is as a matter of principle, you can't do collective punishment. You can't punish some random Russian who had nothing to do with this, who's a person like any other person who's just trying to live their life and get by and take care of their kids and be happy. You can't say, well, now I'm going to destroy you because of what Putin did, because honestly, a lot of the people are against what Putin did. I mean, tens of thousands of people at this point, potentially. Uh, highest number I've seen is just over 10,000, but who knows, because that was as of a week or two ago. Uh, are getting arrested for protesting the war. You want to punish them? They didn't do anything wrong. They're on the side of peace. So I don't agree with all the sanctions that were unleashed. I would sanction Putin and the oligarchs and um, the military. But anything beyond that is collective punishment, and that's like the definition of bigotry. And it's unfair to those people, and so I wouldn't do it. But So as a result of hell being unleashed on the Russian economy, um, what people struggle to grasp, and I don't know why, because it strikes me as really stupid that they don't grasp it. And especially, like, prominent conservatives don't grasp this at all. <laughs> this idea of, like, you do know they can do stuff in return, right? You do understand that. You do understand nothing's happening in a vacuum. It's not like we say something and we or we do something and we have the final action and that's it. No. Quite the opposite. There is going to be retaliation. There is going to be retribution. The form that that takes, I don't know. But one of the things I kept citing over and over is maybe cyber attacks. Now, the extra scary part about that is what Joe Biden said right there, which is, look, he seems to think they're imminent. I don't know if they are, but he seems to think they're imminent. And if that happens, we have a system set up here where it's mostly on the private sector to, to do their own security. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. A lot of these companies have had no incentive throughout the years of getting that top-level security that can withstand some other superpower foreign nation launching a cyber attack. So what happens? Ru Russia launch launches a cyber attack, and what? The internet is off for weeks, a month, more? I don't know. I'm not an expert, but it's certainly in the realm of possibility. There's certainly the potential for that. That would be devastating. That would be crippling. That would also massively hurt our economy, potentially plunge it into a recession or even a depression. So this is why, like, you have to think about these things in an intelligent way, like it's a chess match. But these motherfuckers are playing checkers, if that, you know? And it's just, of course there's going to be retaliation. Maybe you should have been more strategic in the type of sanctions you used, both for moral reasons and for strategic reasons. Uh, you know, for avoiding a worst-case scenario reaction. And look, at this point, cyber attacks are like, if that's all we get against us, we should consider ourselves lucky. Because it, we're, it, this is brinksmanship. We're right up to that line of World War III. And pe some people think that's hyperbolic. I assure you, it is not. I assure you, uh, it's as real as a heart attack. So, I don't know, man. Not good. It's not good that the private sector does most of their own security, and Biden's pointing that out here, and it's not good that he's saying the attacks are kind of imminent. I don't think this is something that the U.S. would have been willing to tolerate had they known in advance. If we do X, Y, and Z, this is what happens in reaction. I think most people would say, fuck that, then don't do it, or do a different version of it. Now, maybe even if, you even if you do the sanctions that I support against Putin, the oligarchs, and the military, 
Maybe if you do that, he still responds with cyber attacks. That's a fair point. That's a fair counter argument. We don't know. But then we fall back on the moral argument of like doing collective punishment is stupid and wrong and unethical anyway. So you shouldn't have done it. But uh, rough waters ahead, man. That's my takeaway. And um, I will say, because some people look at this and say, well, Biden, maybe Biden's not even telling the truth. Um, I think he thinks that they actually are coming. And remember, U.S. intelligence is wrong a lot and they lie a lot. But the fact of the matter is, in the lead up to the invasion of Ukraine, they got the timeline wrong of what was going to happen, but they were right on the overarching point, which is it's going to happen. So should that lead you on this issue to maybe be a little more open to the idea that it's potentially happening? I think so. I think it'd be, na it'd be naive not to say it's at least a possibility, if not a strong possibility. So, uh-oh, uh-oh. I don't know about you guys, but I'll go through internet withdrawal myself. <laughs> I will if, if if it goes down or there are massive problems. But buckle up, man. It is probably coming. Ever since Adpocalypse, when YouTube defunded all independent news and politics overnight, we haven't trusted them. We know they can pull the rug out from underneath us at any time. If you enjoy this content, please consider tipping a dollar or two per month on the Secular Talk Patreon. Link in the video description box below. Thanks for your support.